So we'll go ahead and get started since there's limited time in this talk. Basically what I want to illustrate to, to you guys is um, how easy it can be to take the Julia code that's running on your laptop and deploy it um, in a distributed way to a production cluster. Um, so in order to do that, I have a cluster running here. This is a Kubernetes cluster. Um, if you're not familiar with that, don't worry too much about it. This is, you can just think of it as a cluster of machines um, that's managed by this open source project called Kubernetes, which schedules things on the cluster. So this is kind of what I have. And then I have this service Pachyderm that's running on it, which is the open source project that I work on and what we'll be kind of interacting with to do this. The other thing that I have is a Julia program here that is pretty simple. Um, it just uses decision tree to take in the um, iris data set, which is a set of um, flower measurements along with the species of those flowers and create a model that will predict the species of a flower based on these attributes. And then all I'm doing is training that random forest model and um, saving a representation out to a file. So let's say that we have this running on our local machine. Um, if we're going to deploy this to this cluster that we have running, um, one thing that we could do is uh, dockerize that. So here I have a Docker file you can see that um, adds my, my Julia program to it. So let's go back here again. Um, feel free to follow up afterwards. I have limited time um, with this, but as I mentioned on our cluster, we have this, uh, this pachyderm running. Pachyderm is going to let us kind of manage our data associated with this workflow along with our processing. So one thing that Pachyderm has, um, as my Slack messages come in, is uh, repositories of data. So these are like collections of data that you're processing. So let's go ahead and create one of those repositories called training that's going to contain our training data. Then we'll go in here where I have my data, which is this Iris data set. And I'm going to put that into this training repository on the master branch. Um, so in, in Pachyderm, actually, this data is versioned. Um, but you can think of this as just putting this file into that version collection of, of data. Okay. So now when I go back here and I look at what data I have in my cluster, now I have this collection of data called training. This is actually living on, on that cluster and it's the data that we're going to be processing in our pipeline. So then to utilize that Julia program that we had on our local machine um, to process this data that's now on the cluster, uh, we can just create a JSON specification that tells Pachyderm to create a processing stage called model and that processing stage is going to execute my Julia program in that Docker image and it's going to process that training data that I just mentioned. Okay, so we can go ahead and create that pipeline with that specification um, and a couple things are going to happen now. Um, so one thing that happened is if I look at my cluster now, uh, let me zoom out here, um, I've actually spun up a worker to do this processing on the cluster. So this is now on the cluster. It's going to run my Julia program. And if I then look at what jobs are running on my cluster, I can see that I've automatically spun up a job to do this, uh, to do this processing. So Pachyderm knew that I had this data there that I created and it spun up this worker to do the processing. And now it's doing that processing with the worker on my, on my cluster. Um, okay, that should finish here in just a second. The other thing that I'll notice is um, Pachyderm has created another collection of data to hold the output of that job. Okay, so that succeeded. Um, I can now see that there's data in that output repository, which is that model. Um, now let's create a, another repository of data um, called attributes. And what I'm going to put in there are some files that I want to infer off of. So these are just new collections of attributes that I want to predict off of. So I'm going to put those into my attributes. Uh, repo on the master branch and I'm going to put them all at once. And then I'm also going to create, um, oops, 
another uh, pipeline stage for my inference, um, which is just running another Julia program that I don't have time to show you. And so I can create that repo or create that pipeline. Infer. Okay, and now I will see that um, that inference is running. Okay, so um, the last thing I'll show you is um, just how easy it is to actually make this a true distributed pipeline. Um, so if I go in here, I can increase um, my parallelism, let's say, to five from one, where there was previously one worker um, doing that inference, and then I can update that pipeline. And what I'll see now, oh, might be going slow on my, there we go. Um, so I'm actually automatically spinning up um, a bunch of workers on my cluster that are going to do this inference in parallel, all running that same Julia script that I was running locally on my machine. Um, so um, I'm out of time, but this is me. Um, I'm going to be all, all uh, I'm going to be around all day today, so definitely come and talk to me, introduce yourself, looking forward to meeting you. Um, all of the code that I showed is up on the workshop uh, uh, repo that I have linked there, so you can try it out on your own. There's a local installation that you can try, or you can use um, your own cluster. So feel free to, to uh, come up to me anytime. I'd love to discuss it with you. Thanks.